Damn. Yo. How the hell? How the hell did that happen? That is insane. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's me, Mikey Pipes. It is Saturday evening, um, five minutes after eight. Saturday, September 9th, 2023. Going on an emergency service call. I have a customer who lives literally maybe about 10 houses away. Um, over the Sabbath today, um, felt the leak in the boiler room. Uh, you're not going to believe this. Check this out. Damn. Yo. How the hell? How the hell did that happen? That is insane. Right, so this should be a fairly straightforward replacement. I can't understand that hole, though. <laughs> I really don't understand that hole in the Taiko 007E ECM circulator. So we're gonna start by popping off the electrical cover right there. All right, get the little Phillips, small little Phillips screw. We'll take that out, drop the electric, and then drop the bolts pulling the circulator. I have my electric disconnected. Obviously, I disconnected the wall hung combi that's above here. Um, my four circulator flange bolts are out. And let's slide this bad boy out of here. And wow, I cannot even explain how that is even possible. I cannot explain how that is even possible. It is absolutely ridiculous that that has happened. Wow. Our replacement is the Taiko 0015E, the three speed. ECM high efficiency circulator. We're gonna put that in in place of that and um, Wow, I want to take this apart and actually see what's going on here. Um, I have a special Allen key that I use just for that uh, Long handle. This is an inch um, an eighth an eighth inch Allen key. It's perfect because when you do install these circulators you always have to make sure that even if it's this orientation or like that right always you need to be able to see the uh, the head, right, in an upright vertical position like this, always. So if it's like this, you gotta spin the head. So it's in the manual, ladies and gentlemen, read that. So I'm gonna take this apart in a second. Let's get the new 0015E three-speed ECM circulator in there. It is 12 after eight. Whew, let's get it done, I'm hungry. I've been trying for the past, I don't know, five minutes trying to get the circulator on without disturbing the the circulator gaskets you know those ones on the top and bottom and that's not happening uh, unless i drop that union uh, so i'm going to try these uh, these are circulator flange gaskets they come with the nuts and the bolts i'm going to try that instead because i'm not having good luck right, right now. i got it in um with the circulator flange ga uh, circulator flange gasket um, I was able to get the bottom in first. I secured the bolts and literally using my foot, I was pushing down there, sliding in this gasket right there, and I just got it in. So let's turn water on above the circ. Let's get it below the circ, right? I was prepared to drop that union, but we didn't have to. Let's open that up, open this up. All we gotta do now is wire in our line voltage that way our primary loop circulator will get power and we'll restore domestic hot water here all right i got it wired one of the things that i find interesting it's crazy how we advance and evolve over time when we installed this tankless wall hung combi for this home one replacing a whale mclean ultra 2 that developed a hole in the bottom of the heat exchanger we were using wire nuts right not anymore now we're using the wago these are the uh, lever connectors, 221s. These are far superior than any wire nuts. Any, any wire nuts. Um, if you're interested in learning more about that, I'll put a link in the description box down below for Wagos. You can get them on Amazon. They're not cheap, 
Um, but you can get a, um, I think you can get 50 of them or 100 of them for like 20 bucks or 30 bucks. The, 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 the two conductor ones. I only had one two conductor, so I used the three one right there. But these are awesome. These are really, really awesome. Let's put on our electrical cover right there. And uh, get the show on the road. Our circulator's in place. I want to lower, I want to lower the speed of the circulator. We don't need to be on high speed. We're gonna put that onto medium right there. That's good. Put the, the 11 in one back in the Vito. And by the way, if you're interested in knowing what's in my Vito um, TPXXL, uh, there's a li you know, links to her in the description box down below. And you know, a lot of the links are to Amazon. And if you purchase on Amazon, I will get a small commission. So I really appreciate it. It's a great way of supporting the channel by using those links down in the description box down below. All right, let's plug in power. All right, let's see. The system is booting up right now. It's irrelevant what brand is up there, but let's wait for that to boot up. Come on, guys. Show me the money. Show me the money. Show me the money, come on. Show me the money. Come on. All right, I pulled the four screws out of the, the head. Um, I still can't believe there's a hole there. Let's see if I can take this apart a little bit more and I wanna see if this is the outside. I wonder what the inside looks like. I had to shatter that thing that was in there. Um, wow, that is ridiculous. Taco, if you guys are watching, care to explain how that happened? Come on, man. All right, this concludes this evening's emergency service call. My name is Mike Dyack. I'm a licensed master plumber. I am the owner of Pipe Doctor Home Services, and I believe in leading by example. And if you are in the Valley Stream, New York area, you need plumbing, heating, or air conditioning services for your home or business, give me a call at 516-348-6300 or email me, mike at mikeypipes.com. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Be well. God bless. Stay safe.